Hi, this is Chris Rodino, uh, Troop 60's newest Eagle Scout, and this is his Eagle Scout project. Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Uh, sorry for being late. I had a championship soccer game, which went into overtime. Didn't expect that would happen. But we won, so it's all good. Uh, I started planning this project in 2006 at our town's Memorial Day ceremony at the Duck Pond. I thought about the names on the Memorial Rock and how none of us really knew who these men were, even though they had made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. My proposal was approved in time to start by Memorial Day 2008. I reached my goal, which was to have at least eight stories done by Veterans Day. There are more stories in progress, which I plan to add on an ongoing basis. Uh, unfortunately, my research, we could not uh, acquire uh, Vietnam veteran stories, uh, excuse me, Korean veteran stories. Uh, but hopefully, as an ongoing part of the library, uh, another scout will pick up the project and we'll uh, be able to complete. Right. Many people are unaware of the significance of the 76 names inscribed on the memorials. My goal is to preserve some of the stories of our town's military heroes. The research involved questionnaires, flyers, phone calls, interviews, letters, and internet. Uh, family members, church members, interested citizens, and scouts, and the American Legion Post 220 and the South Orange Historical Society helped support and fund my project. The War Memorials of South Orange. The monument in Memorial Park is for the veterans. Uh, the flagpole in town center is for World War I. The plaques in the Church of St. Andrews for World War I. Memorial Rock at the Duck Pond is for World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. It's the site of the annual, annual ceremony, which we were just at. The Peter S. Connor Community Pool is the South Orange Pool in town. Not many people know that it's named after uh, Peter S. Connor. And the annual sports award at Our Lady of Sorrow School. Uh, each award is named after a Vietnam veteran. This is the Memorial Park in Valley. For World War I veterans. It's a flagpole. Named six soldiers who died in World War I. There's the Church of St. Andrew and Holy Communion, World War I plaque, right on South Orange Ave. There are no names on this plaque. Memorial Rock in, in the Duck Pond has three plaques one to World War II with 59 names, one to Vietnam with five names, and one to Korea with six names. The annual Les February Frenzy Awards a memorial of three graduates killed in Vietnam. Second Lieutenant Brian Daly Conlin, uh, Staff Sergeant Peter S. Connor, and Lieutenant John R. McDonough. This is the community pool in South Orange. It's the Peter S. Connor community pool. Uh, there is a plaque on the outside of the pool. Unfortunately, uh, there's been uh, trees and bushes in the way but we've managed to clear it so people actually know what the pool is named after. All right, these are the soldiers whose stories were. Uh, World War I is Ronald Wood Hoskier. World War II is Nelson Alquist, J. Thurston Brask, Daniel H. Mesa, and Joseph J. Fiore. Vietnam is Brian Daly Conlin, Peter S. Connor, and John L. McDonough. Korea, unfortunately, we weren't able to find any information. And partial information was found for some World War II and Vietnam veterans. Uh, World War I, 1914 and 1918, 116,708 U.S. soldiers died during the war. Six were from South Orange. These heroes are listed on the flagpole at South Orange in Urban Tanat. Flagpole, you're off the name. DeClaro, Oscar, Kyle, Matten. Gales, Shepherd. A church memorial to World War One. It's a plaque honoring all who served in World War One. A banner of stars show that 73 parishioners served and three did not return home. The 73 parishioners were marked by blue stars, while in the middle of the three who did not return were marked by gold stars. Uh, the plaque honoring Ronald Hos Hoskier, aviator, is one of the gold stars. Names of the two other gold stars are not known. Blue and gold star service banner 
Uh, one used to hang inside of the church. Unfortunately, it's been uh, misplaced over the years. In 1917, a service banner with the blue star became the unofficial symbol of a son or daughter on active duty. If the individual died, a gold star was placed over the blue star. Years ago, a large banner of 73 stars, 70 blue, and 3 gold honored parishioners of the Church of Holy Communion who served in World War I. All right, information on Ronald, Ronald Wood Hoskier, aviator. The Hoskier plaque on the rear wall of the church. Uh, it's difficult to read, so I'll read it out. To the glory of God and most living memory, Ronald Wood Hoskier, who was born in this parish 21st March 1896, he gave up his life at high noon, 23rd April, 1917, on the battlefield above St. Quentin in France. <laughs> Abandoning his studies at Harvard early in 1916, he trained in France and joined the French Flying Force as a volunteer. He reached the front in December 1916, only to fall five months later in defense of liberty, in an unequal struggle against three enemy airplanes. God rest his gallant soul. And a quote reads, A good name is only better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. Uh, he fought for the famed Lafayette Escadrille uh, before uh, the U.S. even joined the war. His family founded the Church of Holy Communion, and he was born in South Orange in 1896. He left Harvard to join the Lafayette Escadrille before the U.S. involvement. The Lafayette Escadrille was an American section of French Aviation Corps known for daring and recklessness, attracted wealthy Ivy League volunteers, and the squads and mascots were Lion Cubs, Lion Cubs, Whiskey, and Soda. 63 core members died during World War II. One, excuse me. Uh, memorialized in the movie Flyboys. Hoskier was one of the first casualties. He was shot down in a fierce air battle over St. Quentin, France, on April 23, 1917, at only age 23. His death was widely covered in U.S. newspapers, and he was awarded France's highest honor, the Medaille Militaire, and buried in Paris with full military honors. World War II, 1941 to 1945. 416,800 U.S. soldiers died during World War II. 59 were from South Orange. Their names are inscribed on a plaque in Memorial Park at the Duck Pond. There's a World War II plaque on the rock. All right, Seaman First Class Nelson H. Alquist, United States Navy. All right. Nelson Alquist lived on Raymond Ave. His grandparents had a farm in Berkeley Heights, and he enlisted in the Navy in April 1944 before graduating from Columbia High School. He trained as aviation radio men and a gunner. This is a thank you note from uh, Seaman First Class Alquist. I don't think there is another town that treats their serv servicemen as good or anywhere near as good as South Orange does. I am proud to live in a town as nice as South Orange. I also appreciate getting the South Orange record every week. He was a friend with Tom Magliaro, who helped, helped me with my project greatly. Uh, he was killed on Carrier Bunker Hill near Okinawa on May 11, 1945, at age 18. Two suicide bombers struck the ship. One directly hit Alquist radio tower. He was buried at sea with 372 shipmates. Burials began at noon on May 12th and lasted till dusk. He was awarded the Purple Heart and pres Presidential Unit Citation. Major J. Thurston Brass, United States Air Force. Major Brass was shot down over France. He was born in South Orange in December 23, 1920. He graduated Fielding School and Columbia High School in 1939 and attended Newark School of Engineering. He worked for Western Electric and Kearney. He enlisted in the Army Air Corps in 1941 and trained in Texas as a fighter pilot. This is Major Brask with his fighter, the Eager Eagle. He was a dive bomber who served in seven campaigns in Africa, Sicily, Italy, and southern France. He flew 101 missions for the 27th Fighter Bomber Group and 12th Tactical Command. He was promoted to Major in 1944 and made Colonel's Assistant. As group operations officer, he directed air support of the invasion of France. He was killed in France on December 13, 1944, and he was only 23 years old. He was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross, the Air Medal and Silver Clusters, and Europe-Africa Campaign Medal, the American Campaign Medal, and the Presidential Unit Citation. He's the brother of Dorit Stagg and Marion Hoffman. 
and he's buried in Hollywood Cemetery in the Union. Sergeant Joseph J. Fiore, U.S. Army. Sergeant Fiore is from a large family on Lackawanna Place in South Orange. He's a brilliant student. He was valedictorian at OLS and Columbia High School. He worked for a Wallace newspaper service, and he wrote to his history teachers about his war experiences. Sergeant Fiore served in the 1st Army Division for eight campaigns in Europe and North Africa, including the invasion of Sicily. He was killed in Normandy on D-Day, June 6, 1944. He was awarded the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart. He was the first villager to be returned home from war. A large interface military funeral was held on December 10, 1947, and Sergeant Fiore laid in state in Village Hall, brother of Margaret Fiore, South Orange. This is a letter from Brigadier General Roosevelt to the men of the 1st Army, U.S. Army Division. I do not have to tell you what I think of you, for you know, you will always be in my heart. Your record is splendid. You were known as assault troops the world over. May luck go with your battle-worn colors, and glory always has. Private First Class Daniel H. Maysai, United States Marine Corps. He was born in South Orange, October 28, 1924. He lived on 4th and Valley Streets. His father was a letter carrier. He graduated from Our Lady of Sorrows and enlisted during his senior year at Columbia High School. He worked for Western Union and King's Market and a defense plant. He joined the Marines on January 13, 1944. He, has served in South, he served in the South Pacific, the Marshall Islands and the Marianas Islands. He was killed in action in Saipan in July 6, 1944, only at age 19. He was awarded the Purple Heart, the Presidential Unit Citation, the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal, and the World War II Victory Medal. He's the brother of Carmel Maysai, who lives in Union. He was buried in Holy Sepulchre Cemetery in Newark. The Korean Conflict was 1950 to 1953. 36,913 U.S. soldiers died in Korea, six of whom were from South Orange. They are named on a plaque on Memorial Rock at the Duck Pond. Unfortunately, we are unable to find uh, any sources for information. So the Korean flag. Uh, I guess out of respect, I'll read their names. Uh, Amon, Casserly, Giordano, Hartley, Ryder, and Walter. Uh, the Vietnam conflict was 1959 to 1975. 58,077 U.S. soldiers died during the Vietnam War, five of whom were from South Orange. They are named on a plaque on Memorial Rock at the Duck Pond. Our town pool is dedicated to one of whom who died, Peter Conner. Three of them are honored by sports awards and their names at OLS. This is the Vietnam plaque. All right, Second Lieutenant Brian Daly Conlin, United States Marine Corps. He was born in South Orange on February 6, 1943. He graduated from OLS, St. Benedict's, and Seton Hall University in 1965. He played football, soccer, and wrestling. His father, Bud, was village president. His sister was Madeline Pearson, OLS teacher. Conlon was wounded on October and November 1966 and January 1967. He was killed in Da Nang by a landmine on January 25, 1967, at age 23. He received the Purple Heart, the New Jersey Distinguished Service Medal. He's buried in Holy Sepulchre Cemetery in Newark. Staff Sergeant Peter S. Connor, United States Marine Corps. Connor was born in South Orange on September 4, 1932. He graduated OLS in 1946 and Columbia High School in 1950. He joined the Marines in 1952, served in Korea, Okinawa, and Vietnam. He was the brother of Mary and Jane Connor of South Orange and Harold E. Connor, missing in action of World War II. He was wounded on February 25, 1966, on a search and destroy mission. He died March 8, 1966, at age 33. He, sac he sacrificed his life to protect comrades when a grenade malfunctioned. He was awarded the Purple Heart, only South Orange recipient of the Medal of Honor. He's buried in Fort Rosencrantz in San Diego. This is the Peter S. Connor Community Pool. 
Lieutenant John R. McDonough, United States Navy. He's reported as missing in action. He was raised in South Orange and graduated OLS in 1954 in St. Benedict's and Villanova University. He was commissioned as an ensign, became naval aviator, and, which was his lifelong dream. He flew many missions during two tours in Vietnam. On a night takeoff from Cary, USS Hancock, a catapult malfunctioned, which causes A-1 Sky Raider to crash into the sea. He was able to avoid ships in the carrier, and gunner and navigator survived. He was declared missing June 20, 1966, at age 27, and he's still missing in action. This town and families remember Memorial Day 2008, last year. For future war memorial, two men have been killed in action in Iraq. Lance Corporal Augie Schroeder, United States Marine Corps, former South Orange resident, Columbia High School 2000 graduate, scout, lifeguard, swim and lacrosse teams. He was killed in Baghdad by a roadside bomb at age 23 on August 3rd, 2005. Major Dwayne Kelly, United States Army Reserve, State Trooper, Rutgers University graduate, and he lived on Vozat. He was killed in Sadr City, June 24, 2008, by a bomb blast at age 48. Today we honor all veterans. These, the stories of these fallen heroes were compiled by the help of citizens and families and the fellow scouts who responded to my questionnaires, flyers, and, not and notice published in the June 29th bulletin of the Church of St. Andrew and Holy Communion. Through these methods, I obtained stories, clippings, and photos. I also used the internet and Ancestry.com for military information and local phone books for addresses of possible family members. I appreciate the help of the scouts and leaders of Troop 60, Mr. Donald Thomas, the South Orange Historic Historical Society, and the Church of St. Andrew and Holy Communion. My project received generous support from Mr. Tom Magliero of the American Legion Post 220 of South Orange. The stories we have of our country's sacrifice are, are fleeting. Together we can memorialize these feats of patriotism for our, our following generations. Thank you.